The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollars that tomorrow there'll be sun. All right, so you guys, today I'm going to show you all how I do my rice water <coughs> hair treatment. All right, so oof, you guys, this thing, when I tell you it smells so bad, it smells absolutely horrible, but what I've noticed is since I've been using the rice water, I will say that I have been getting a lot more limped. Sorry, I'm taking out that, oh, out that scrunchy or whatever it's called. And it feels so good to just rub the scalp oh my goodness like scalp rubbing is such a must like seriously but anyway i'm gonna show you guys how i do my rice water treatment and so i put my rice water inside of this hair and i know a lot of people when they do their rice water they pretty much <clears throat> just make like this amount and then they pour it all over their head but i don't pour it all over my head i like to just spray well i have been just spraying it like on each individual twist oh but let me show you guys you know if i can and it's at the tippy top i'm gonna take that part off because but at the tippy top um it's like there and my hair without the rice water it had been growing because i have not been cutting it previously i was cutting my hair like at least about a good inch off which truthfully i would say that i would go ahead and cut like on my hair probably up until this part right here so i would say about an inch and a half right now i would currently go ahead and cut off but i'm not gonna go ahead <clears throat> i'm not gonna go ahead and cut any hair off at this moment because what i'm gonna do is like for the next four weeks i'm going to consistently use the rice water because even though i've been using the rice water I have not been using it consistently. So I want to go ahead and I want to use the rice water consistently. And this part right here, you guys, I want you guys to look at this. All right. This right here is basically my, um, you see how like this part right here, I just want to show you guys, you see how short that part right there is. Like I'm going to move all of this out from that. I didn't, wasn't able to put inside the twist. And so this is basically my edges, right? On the other side, this is um, the edges. And you see how short. Now this right here is the edges as well. This is my edges as well. But what I went ahead and I've done, and this has been for two years now, about two years, maybe a year and a half, two years. I'm going to say two years. I've been braiding this part because I wanted to see if braiding this part how much that this part can actually grow and when it's i started it this is where it was this is the amount that i had when i first started it probably less than that probably like right here and this is what it has grown and as you can see this part right here is still very short because at one point i was starting to braid this part but then it was kept getting like in the way of other things. So I stopped, but I am going to go ahead and I, I am going to start braiding this part as well, because that way that part can, you know, join this part here. But I just think this is so amazing how you can take your edges and braid it. And then this is the results. And so I just think like if you're taking care of any part of your hair, it's going to grow as long as you're taking care of it and so but anyway so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is i'm gonna go ahead and start spraying my twists i'm not gonna take them out i'm just gonna soak them really well like i usually do 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and put them inside a plastic bag I put my hand in a plastic bag and <clears throat> I just want you guys to see this bonnet that I have um, this is what the bonnet says and I think this is such a freaking adorable bonnet I act, I have two of these bonnets let me show you guys the other one and this is the other one here which my birthday is on St. Patrick's Day and so I thought this was so appropriate for my birthday and it's just such a comfortable bonnet to like wear at night I mean I absolutely love it so if you guys want any information on those bonnets please just let me know and another thing I want to show you guys really really quickly is um this is rice water as well and let me let you guys get a little closer it says facial care but it's um it's purple rice water and this is what i will be using for my hair as well once i run out of mines i will start using this and this is from a young lady called Francine Dreams. You can find her on IG. And she makes all types of body butters and different things like that. Which I'll probably show you guys a little later. I'm not going to make this video too long. So I don't want to get all into that just yet. So let's go ahead and let's, um, let me start spraying on the rest. I have my towel because as I've said before... And anyone who knows this stuff, it smells really, really bad. Now, some people, they, they go ahead and they put... <coughs> lemon or orange or they put some type of something in it to reduce the smell of it. But I didn't want to put anything citrusy inside of my hair. And so I'm, I don't put anything in my mixture. And another thing about this mixture, the first time I, my first mixture that I use, I let it sit probably for like three weeks because actually I really forgot about it. I just put it in my cabinet and I kind of forgot about it. And then so once I remembered it, I, you know, it was like three weeks later. And then I took the same exact rice that I used the first time and let it sit. I used it a second time. And this is this mixture here. And what I can say about using it the second time that is this mixture is much thicker. And I mean, I've used it once already and you know, I haven't had any adverse effects to letting it sit because I let this sit for probably like almost freaking a month and a half like this stuff was sitting for a very long time and so yeah but I'm gonna go ahead let me start spraying my hair oh hold it I gotta get my bags so I'm gonna be using these two um, supermarket plastic bags you know plastic we're gonna be doing away with it so you know i'll have to most likely go ahead and get me some regular or some reusable shower caps to start using but okay let's just get into this right now so like i said what i'm just gonna do is i'm just gonna go ahead and soak i'm gonna soak it i'm gonna soak it because i don't want to take the twist out because that I just feel like that's just too much you know I'm a very lazy here um, person I don't like to do too much to my hair that's why I wear wigs and braids and all that stuff like that because I hate for my hair to be messed with Gonna soak that in really really good and usually I will be doing this inside the shower and oh this stuff it tastes horrifying like it tastes so disgusting so if it gets in your mouth you may have to take a break to wash your mouth out but I'm gonna just let this bit right here soak in 
before I start spraying some more because I am going to spray more on the hair because I want it to be like really soaked into every part of my hair and the thing that you notice like right off is that how soft the hair becomes once you start applying it the hair becomes very very soft and that's the thing that I love about it and I'm just doing this right here just so I can give my hair time to um, to soak in some of the some of the moisture the rice water and you know of course massaging your scalp massaging your scalp is you know really beneficial so whenever you get a chance to massage your scalp definitely massage your scalp so I'm gonna go ahead start adding some more and make sure you get your edges you know make sure you get them edges all right put some in the back back all right and so my hair has started to take in the liquid because it's not dripping as much as it was before so and what I will say is that last night I put some oil I put the aloe vera oil on my hair and so that might be causing the rice water to slip a little bit but it is starting to penetrate I can you know tell because the water is not dripping down anymore so I'm just gonna put a little bit more and put a little bit more make sure you get the tips of your hair make sure the tips of your hair you know is in there and that they're wet all right a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more just really soak it i'm gonna really soak it all right so i think it's really soaked so I'm going to start putting my plastic bag on. And make sure, you know, there's no debris or anything inside your plastic bags. Make sure the plastic bags are clean. And make sure you put the plastic bag you know as tight as comfortably possible oh, and tuck the other tuck the when you twirl it around tuck that part under the first part so you can kind of like lock it in all right and then now I'm gonna go ahead and put this beautiful bonnet on and I'm gonna go about my day so and I'm just gonna not even think about the amount of time that I'm gonna leave this on um, my head because a lot of people they some of them they leave it on for a little bit and then they you know take it right off but I find that it has been more beneficial for me to leave it on as long as I can and so once I go ahead and take my shower then I will go ahead and um, whatever what I'll go ahead and do and I'll go ahead and apply my aloe vera so now that I'm using the aloe vera in conjunction with the rice water what I will just say right now is that I know the rice water has really helped my hair to grow so now I'm just gonna see what using the aloe vera in the rice water together how that helps my hair because really I just right now would like to have some thickness to my hair I'm not really concerned about the length because the length is already there you know far as I'm concerned you know that length is you know good um, I'm, it'll get you know longer of course you know at the more I take care of it but I really just want thickness to my hair and the rice water is supposed to thicken it the aloe vera is supposed to thicken it so what I have to do is just be consistent because true, uh, what I've been doing is allowing my hair to like really dry and lock up and that is not good because it is the hardest thing in the world for me to um, re-moisturize my hair in order to pull it apart 
um, without damaging it. And I have been doing a lot of damage to my hair in the last, this last year, as far as just really just leaving it, like leaving it and thinking like, oh, it'll be fine. You know, I can go another week without having to moisturize it. Um, which is is terrible or just moisturizing it while it's in while it's in twist that is not a good thing to do because what you're doing is you're raking the hair your hand on the hair which is locking other hair onto the twist which is going to make it even worse when it comes time to try to re-moisturize it so it's better to just take out the twist moisturize it and then go so what i'm going to try to do is moisture my hair at least Twi um every other day so i'm not gonna moisture it every day but i'm gonna definitely try to take my twist out and moisture it moisturize it every other day and see if that helps with the thickness so anyway um if i decide to go ahead and show you guys the process of me moisturizing then i'll come back up here otherwise I just want to say thank you guys for watching my video today and I have more videos coming because I want to do a video every day up until the 17th which is my birthday so I do have some other videos coming right now I'm just you know feeling not feeling as like um, up as I want to be far as making a video that I've been trying to make for forever but that video is coming and I know I keep saying that that video is coming but that video is coming um, but I just didn't feel like my body right now is ready to do any clothing hauls and so I need for you know things to like you know like the the bloating and stuff to like go down just a bit so anyway I probably won't put that far there. But, alright you guys. So, like I said, either I'll see you guys once I'm moisturized or I will see you guys and you guys will see me in my next video. Love you guys. Mm -hmm.